Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to solve this theorem by using Euler asymptotic formula. In this theorem, we have two cases. The first case is, if beta not equal to 1, then sum of n less than or equal to x, sigma of min sigma minus beta of n equal to, geta of beta plus 1 into x plus big O of x power delta. They give delta equal to maximum of 0, 1 minus beta. The another case is, if beta equal to 1, then we have sum of n less than or equal to x sigma minus beta of n equal to g of 2 x plus big O of log x. Let's go to the proof. Take sum of n less than or equal to x sigma minus beta of n equal to I already told you that sigma function denote the sum of devices of n. So we can write this sigma function as sum of d divides n d power minus beta. Also, by the divisibility rule, we can write n equal to qd. Since d divides n, right? By using this, I can replace n by qd. So, I get sum of qd less than or equal to x d power minus beta. Now, I am going to split this summation into two terms. So, I get sum of d less than or equal to x into sum of q is less than or equal to x by d into d power minus beta. Next, I am going to take the d power minus beta outside. So, I get sum of d less than or equal to x d power minus beta into sum of q less than or equal to x by d. Here, we have 1. So, I can write this as d power 0. For using Euler asymptoting formula, I take d power 0. Any number power 0 equal to 1, right? Which is equal to sum of d less than or equal to x d power minus beta into. For this term, I am going to use Euler asymptotic formula. Let's recall once again the Euler asymptotic formula. The Euler asymptotic formula, if x greater than or equal to 1, we have sum of n less than or equal to x 1 by n equal to log x plus c plus big O of 1 by x. The second one is sum of n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s equal to x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s plus g of s plus big O of x power minus s if s greater than 0 and s not equal to 1. The third one is sum of n greater than x 1 by n power s equal to big O of x power 1 minus s if s greater than 1. And the last one sum of n less than or equal to x n power alpha equal to x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 plus big O of x power alpha for x for alpha greater than or equal to 0. Here we have sum of q less than or equal to x by d, d power 0. So, we can use the fourth, fourth formula that is x by d the whole power here alpha is 0. So, 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 plus big O of x by d the whole power 0 which is equal to sum of d less than or equal to x d power minus beta into this is x by d the whole power 1 that is x by d plus big O of x by d the whole power 0 that is any term power 0 means 1 so big O of 1. Next, I am going to take the summation inside. So, sum of d less than or equal to x. Here, I have d power minus beta into x by d. So, I can write this as x by d power beta plus 1 plus big O of sum of d less than or equal to x d power minus beta. This is for sum of n less than or equal to x sigma minus beta of n. Mark this as equation 1. Now we come to the main part of the theorem. For the, for the first case, beta not equal to 1. Equation 1 implies we have sum of n less than or equal to x sigma minus beta of n equal to x into sum of 
d less than or equal to x 1 by d power beta plus 1 plus big O of sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d power beta. Now I am going to apply the Euler asymptotic formula for these terms. So I get x into this term is like sum of n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s right. So I am going to apply the second formula I get x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s that is x power 1 minus beta minus 1 divided by 1 minus beta minus 1 plus g of s. Here s is beta plus 1 that is g of beta plus 1 plus big O of x power 1 minus uh, x power minus s that is minus of beta plus 1. plus we go of this term is also like the second formula so we get x power 1 minus beta divided by 1 minus beta plus g of s that is g of beta plus we go of x power minus s x power minus beta which is equal to x into here 1 and 1 get cancelled. That is x power minus beta by minus beta plus g of beta plus 1 plus big O of x power minus beta minus 1 plus big O of x power 1 minus beta by 1 minus beta plus g of beta plus big O of x power minus beta. Now I am going to multiply this x inside. So I get x power. The bases are same. So we can add the powers x power 1 minus beta. x power 1 minus beta divided by minus beta plus x into g of beta plus 1 plus here x big O of x power uh, the bases are same so we can add the powers so we get big O of x power 1 minus beta minus 1 so we can get cancel the 1 and minus 1 so we get big O of x power minus beta plus go of x power 1 minus beta by 1 minus beta plus big O of g of beta plus big O of x power minus beta which is equal to in the zeta function this zeta function is the greatest function so I can write zeta of beta plus 1 into x plus here see x power 1 minus beta by minus beta and this term x big O of x power minus beta in the four terms this big O of x power minus beta term is the greatest term. So other big O functions and the x terms come inside the, this big O function. And we can write this as big O of x power minus beta. But in the question they give that delta equal to maximum of 0 comma 1 minus beta. So I replace this beta by delta. I get big O of x power minus big O of x power delta. Okay. Next we solve the another case for beta not equal to 1. Equation 1 implies sum of n less than or equal to x sigma minus 1 of n equal to x into sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d power 1 plus 1 plus big O of sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d power 1. which is equal to x into sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d square plus big O of sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d. Next we apply the Euler asymptotic formula to solve this. This term is like sum of n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s. So I am going to apply the second one, second formula. I get x power 
1 minus here s is 2. So 1 minus 2 divided by 1 minus 2 plus g tau of s that is g tau of 2 plus big O of x power minus s that is x power minus 2 plus big O of this term is like the first formula that is sum of n less than or equal to x 1 by n equal to log x plus c plus big O of 1 by x. So applying that formula I get log x plus c plus big O of 1 by x. Sorry, here we have the x term outside. So, x into. Which is equal to x into x power minus 1 by minus 1 plus g tau of 2 plus big O of x power minus 2 plus this big O function come inside. That is big O of log x plus big O of c constant plus big O of 1 by x. Multiply this x inside. So we get um, x power 1 into x power minus 1 that is 1. So 1 by minus 1 that is minus 1 plus x into g of 2 plus big O of x into x power minus 2 that is bases are same so we can add the powers we get big o of minus 1 plus big o of log x plus big o of c plus big o of 1 by x which is equal to for the zeta function this here the only one zeta function is here so we can write this as x into zeta of 2 plus the other function this big O log x is the greatest function. So, other big O functions come inside the big O function. So, we can write this as big O of log x. If you have any doubt in taking big O function, please check the video I have which I have posted earlier. I will attach the link in the description. Thank you.